Hey, hola amigos, welcome to another QPython 3 tutorial. Now in this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about classes, that is more on classes. And in the previous tutorial we talked about um, classes from the basics as an introduction to classes and there's something I want to re really clear out to you guys, I mean, it's something that I should have cleared out in the previous tutorial. If in the previous tutorial I told you guys that to create a class, you use the class and then using the name of the class let's say the class name is human and you add your parentheses and then close this up I made a I might have made an error with that because creating classes you don't really need this all you need is name of the class the name of the class and the keyword class so that's basically it so keep that in mind don't say I didn't tell you I'm not gonna take the blame if you make any kind of mistake with that <laughs> I've washed my hands off of this. So anyways, we're talking about the init function today. Now the init function is basically a kind of function that helps you run code inside classes. So when you create a class, the init function automatically helps you initialize your function. So when you write or when you create a class or object, if you have an init function inside of the object, it automatically runs the code every time the object is called. So basically, when you run your code, it just does that for you which is, is inside the function that has the init inside of it so let's quickly create an init function to create an init function you can simply define it by using a define that's a def and then just adding two underscores in it and two underscores so that's it that's how you create any functions now you can simply open parentheses if you want and let me just write this really quick and I'll come back to explain this for you guys so let's go with self and you can just say something like a name name of the human and of course the let's go with something like the age so basically yeah that's it so let's close this up and head on to the next line self um, dot name equals name again guys this might get a bit confusing so just hold on so I can just type this off and I'll come back and explain this for you guys and self dot age equals um, H. So basically, this is this. Now let's go to the next line and just get head back a bit. So let's create a simple, maybe a single, simple variable. Let's call this variable name person, and let's set this equals to um, human, and just open up some parentheses and then give this maybe. Let's go with decimal and add your comma and then add maybe an age to the so this one is basically 2500 years old well I'm, I'm immortal so yeah I don't die that's my age on the google it google it I don't give a damn just do whatever you want that's my age so anyways this is it so basically we basically created a class with the name human and inside of this class we have an init function we've defined an init function now this init function carries this which is called self the name and the age now this is something you always use when creating init functions or classes this name and the age are the parameters we've passed in now to assess the, na the parameters inside of this place you need to use the self method first that is this and then you can call in the name one by one so I say name self dot name equals to name and self dot age equals to age so basically I am setting this as a single variable without having to stress myself every time I want to write this I'll have to use self dot name so now it's not set to the name and just age so basically that's that now since we've created the class the init function of it uh, over here you can just head on to the next line and access the files inside of the classes so we've called out the define the init uh, function so when we run the print statement sorry the print statement with the class called human you can see that automatically the init function gets run let's just print out um let's say person dot name and let's print out person dot age also let me just copy this a bit and i'm a very lazy person i don't like doing all that stressy stuff you see every time I don't like stressing myself something always comes up to stress me so let me just paste this over here and change this to let's say age okay age it is dot age so let's save our code and let's run let's see how it goes yeah this month and his age which is 2500 
yeah i am immortal they were so that's it for init functions guys i'm gonna be dealing with other stuff here that has to do with functions and trust me guys keep subscribing keep your subscribes coming and keep your likes coming and also your comments and before i go i also want to tackle something real quick now something you want to take note of this guys is the function so you can actually define or insert a function inside of a class i think i should just rush that real quick in this tutorial i think i still have some time left so let me just do that for you guys so basically you can create a function let's i think we should do that over here yeah let's do that over here so function let's define a simple function let's call this function my function or my func or whatever let's call this my func and let's just so add the self parameter to it so basically one thing you should know is that when creating parameters inside of the function or inside of the classes you need to use the self so you can just add your colon here what the what what is this hold on guys i think my <laughs> python just crashed let me just head back to the video yeah i did it so yeah so let's create a simple function let's define the function and let's call this my func and give this self and a colon so basically creating a function isn't that much difficult all you have to do is create a simple function but you have to use the self parameter first and then add any of the parameters that you want to add to it so let's just make this function as simple as possible let's just say something like print hola amigo you're a function yep your function all right let's give it all right yep so this is a this is a simple function that does this prints out all amigo your function all right so now so this is the function name and we can just say something like um print out the function add a comma and then just say maybe self dot name so basically what this function is going to do is that it's going to print out this whole amigo and then it's going to look for the self dot name which is this and then it's going to just insert it there so basically let's head on to the next line let's see how it goes let's save and run our code and i think we should call the function yeah to access the function you can simply use the my func that is the function name and use the I think what's it called yeah this is called the person so you use the person that my func and save and run yeah it says hola amigo your function already and then says this one so guys I won't blame you guys if you do not understand this at first but classes are a bit complicated so just wrap your head around it and just you know wiggle 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 you get the answers eventually so thank you all for watching guys i hope you hit that like button subscribe button i think i've said this before what am i doing goodbye guys keep rocking y'all see you guys peace out